I spend a lot of time on this channel telling you guys to go buy a sailboat because sailing is awesome. But sometimes a cheap boat is kind of rough. <laughs> Let me show you. I just bought this thing for $500. This is a Hobie Cat 16 and it came with the trailer. And as you can see, it's kind of all there. I already rigged it, put the sails on. It's functioning as a sailboat right now as we speak, but also it's kind of rough. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is full of things I won't forget Before we even try to tow this thing down to the boat ramp and put it in the water and use it, we need to fix that trailer because those wheels are not good. I towed it home, it was like an hour away and I went slow and I was scared the whole time. So let's fix the trailer first. Figure out what you like and find your limits Don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds People can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action And with a little time Just be patient, make a statement Try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out Okay, it fits in the garage, which is nice because it's supposed to rain. It's that hurricane barrel thing happening. Um, so it's gonna be a messy day, but with this in the garage, I think we'll be in better shape. I think I'm gonna unhook the lawnmower and we gotta go to the store to get some tires. So let's go see if we can find some trailer wheels. This thing's got tiny wheels, which is like super weird. I wish it had like a little bit bigger tire, but what's on it right now is a five bolt at about 16 inches. Uh, maybe, yeah, a five bolt 16 and look at this tire. It is not good. So we got to fix that. We got some out of the box Princess Auto sort of Harbor Freight fenders on there. Otherwise, she looks pretty structurally good. Uh, the wood bunks are not too rotted yet. Very simple trailer, just sits on the bunks. There's nothing really to it. Uh, and then you have the pipe that goes on the back to hold the mast. Uh, pretty simple, but she needs lights and she needs, uh, she needs tires. So let's go see what we can find. Head is tough. They'll try to kick you while you're down. They want to rise up while you drown. They want to fill your head with doubt. They're silently scared that you'll figure it out. I'll make it look like I'm losing. I'm about to hide in my I'm going to show you guys a whole series on what it's like to buy one of these low bottom dollar sort of boats. And in this part of the series, we're just going to deal with the trailer. We're going to do tires and pack the wheel bearings and all that kind of stuff. Put new lights on it because that's definitely something we want to do. Uh, but the whole series, we'll get into the boat in the next episode and we'll start dealing with stuff like that. But let's check out these wheels and see what's going on. This tire is in terrible condition. There are literally pieces falling off of it and the bearing has a bearing buddy on it. So we're gonna see what the grease looks like. Okay, this bearing actually looks and feels really good. Uh, there's no play in it. It's nice and tight. There's no grinding. Um, somebody went through the trouble to actually take care of these bearings. I hope the other side's the same way. Probably on account of this bearing buddy being installed because it has a grease fitting on it. And if you stay on top of that and keep putting new grease in it, usually once a season, the bearings will last a really long time. So we're just gonna reinstall that bearing buddy and call that one good, throw a tire on here. So now that I have three different sailboats, I was thinking about doing a YouTube video with like a super high production, super high budget, 
um, sort of like huge undertaking to make, like big sailing video for you guys. Something that really hasn't been done before. And my plan is to do a race, three sailing dinghies, the Hobie Cat, the Laser, and the CL14 with three sailors, or preferably non-sailors, because that would be even more fun. But three of us racing these things over the course of like, you know, an hour or a two hour race. Everybody with GoPros all filmed in. And that sounds like fun by itself, but I was also thinking to add a twist to show you what owning a sailing dinghy is really like, we're gonna add a power boat to the mix. And the power boat's gonna fly around messing with the little sailboats, especially who's ever in the lead. And we'll see who can get to the buoy and then back to the finish line first while the power boat tries to kill them. If you guys think that's a cool idea, let me know in the comments and also, I don't have enough GoPros to make that work because you figure each boat would need at least one GoPro. I have three, um, probably two GoPros per boat, one on the helmet or one on the chest and then one on the boat looking at whoever's driving it. And then a good camera in the power boat and then probably a camera boat racing around um, just getting you know sort of B-roll of everything happening. And then the audio would be really difficult to capture. So I need a little bit of camera equipment to make this work. I need a lot of tow vehicles because I'd have to get all these boats down to the boat ramp and then back home and I only really have one truck and I guess I would need a bunch of people to make it work, preferably volunteers so the budget doesn't get ridiculous, but people in the camera boat and I think that both the camera boat and the power boat should have water balloons in them whipping them at the sailboats as they go because that would just be a tremendous amount of fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you want to help out on something like that or star in a YouTube video with me and do something ridiculous like that, let me know because I'm definitely looking for people. Let's button this up. Also has a bearing buddy on this one with the cap still fitted, which is weird because those usually fly off and disappear. But this tire is actually not bad. It's in pretty good shape. I think we're gonna keep it as a spare. You guys have a random bolt collection? This is my random bolt collection. And I'm looking for an at least four inch bolt to hold the spare tire on because that's gonna be necessary. So if we do this big crazy video, we need probably like three more waterproof GoPros and like probably 10 people to make it all work, which is a big undertaking, but I think it's worth it. I think it would be a ton of fun. Um, if you guys have any other ideas to make that video more interesting, let me know. I think a race by itself is fun enough, but to really, really be awesome. We need that power boat in there messing things up and really disturbing the peace as power boats tend to do. And of course our trailer would never be legal without some lights and these are not good. Oh, it's getting hot in here. It is 88 degrees in this garage. The lights that we have are your auto parts store special, but they say they're submersible, but we always unplug them before we back down the ramp, except all the times that we forget to unplug them before we back down the ramp. So being submersible, maybe we'll get lucky. What's important here is that this is a kit, so it comes with the wires. That's why I was sort of reckless with the wires as I took the old lights off because I don't want anything to do with all those old wires because that's how you find problems. Oh, they will. That's wonderful. We are gonna clean this up with a wire wheel though because we need that good ground contact point on this tab to be part of the trailer. And we got an extra bulb here. Probably doesn't work. Let's, uh, let's wire wheel that real quick. One of the best things I ever did in this garage, and let's call it a thinly veiled attempt to keep things organized because 
they're not, was buy these bins. They were on sale for five bucks each. So I bought, I think I bought 15 of them, but I labeled them all with all my junk. So electrical repair is what we're gonna need right now. And it's got everything in there that we should need to do this job. So nice. Let's get it done. These things I got on Amazon, it's called WireFi, and they will sell you a bin of whatever part you want for your electrical kit. These happen to be red butt connectors with the heat shrink all around them, which are wonderful to have. And you always run out of these in my other kits, stuff like this that comes with everything. You notice the empty compartments? It's from the red butt connectors. So a whole bin of red butt connectors. I also bought a whole bin of female red spade connectors because they're just so good to have. And we got our heat gun out, we're ready to go. So let's make some connections. Little note to self, unplug the hot tub when you're using the heat gun. Okay, the next problem we have to deal with now that we're at the front of the trailer is this white wire is not what you might call long enough. Um, this is the set, it's actually just about perfect for the size of this trailer. I didn't have to shorten it or anything. That's enough to reach the truck, but this isn't enough to reach back to the trailer, so we're just going to make this a little bit longer with some extra wire because they never give you enough. And of course, we have to ground it to the trailer, so we're actually just going to make a hole with a self tapping screw. Oh, and if you have anybody in your life who likes to do stuff like this, buy them these, the red butt connectors with the heat shrink from WireFi on Amazon. Um, these things are good for car stereos, they're good for trailers, they're good for all the DC wiring on your boat. It's gonna have thousands of these, buy them. Yeah, we got left turn signal and right tail light. Yeah. Yeah, I see it flashing on the wall over there. Guys, I almost forgot. There's no way we're going to be going around like children with a 1 and 7 8 ball on this thing. We're going to need to put a 2 inch uh, coupler on there because, man, 1 and 7 8 is stupid and I don't want to have to change all the time. Um, I've already upgraded the other boats to all 2 inch couplers, so this has got to go. I'm just saying. Okay, now that we're happy with the trailer's ability to go down the road safely, and it's moderately raining, this is that uh, hurricane that came up. It's all like messed with the weather up here on the Great Lakes. It's all black everywhere. It's pretty crazy. We're supposed to get like inches of rain over the next couple of days, so I can't even use the sailboat, but at least it'll be ready. So now I gotta come up with some kind of ingenious way to get that boat back on that trailer. We have a truck and we have a lawnmower, so with a little ingenuity, maybe.
Hey guys, I'm a mess, but that was so worth it. I can't wait to share this journey with you. I'm still gonna make videos about buying boats and how to go sailing and all the normal stuff that you'd expect from this channel, but I'm also gonna be showing you like a series of repairing this catamaran to make it a good boat again. And I wanna say thank you, cause we're about to hit a pretty big YouTube milestone. And I mean we, me and you, us. For the people that have been here from the beginning, back in the days before the Bahamas, then the Bahamas, and then coming home, and, and then Practical Sailor in this era, um, and what's to come of this channel, we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers. And for a lowly little sailing channel, that is a very, very big deal. So I want to thank you guys so much for you know being here the whole time, whether you just showed up or whether you're here from day one. Thank you so much. I can't wait to do some big adventures. That's the sort of next evolution for the Lady K channel, I think, is to have some big adventure videos and to do big production stuff with lots of cameras and sound and lots of people involved. So it's gonna take a lot of doing and hopefully we can get some people to sponsor videos. I need a whole bunch of GoPros to make this work. I've got like three. Um, one's a five though, so we probably can't use it. I've got a seven, a 12 and maybe an 11, but I need like three or four more and then some sort of audio solution and then people to act in it, preferably people who are fans of the original Top Gear from UK because that is so funny and that's sort of the model of what I wanna do except with sailboats. So stick with me, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about doing a big, exciting, high production sort of video and what you would wanna see in that video and if my idea is good or you would add to it. Until next week, guys, keep the heavy side down. Thank you so much. I love you guys.